Welcome to the Investor Financing Podcast, where we interview real estate investors and lenders so you can learn all the secrets to getting your projects funded and scale your portfolio. Learn about fix and flip loans, burr financing, rental, fix to rent, commercial, multifamily bridge loans, business loans, and so much more. And now, your host, Bo Eckstein. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining on another episode of Investor Financing Podcast. And today, we're going to talk about uh, small multifamily burr strategies. And we're going to walk you through a deal. I found a deal uh, through an agent in Indiana, and it was a triplex. Two of the units are already rented, and the, and the top unit needs to be rehabbed. And then there's some additional deferred maintenance. So um, I wanted to put an offer on the property and there was multiple offers. I ended up um, bidding up the property to uh, just under $80,000. And currently it's got 1,025 in rental income between the two units. When the third unit is re renovated and rented out, I should get an additional $575 a month. So that would give me a gross income of $1,600. So anyways, I did my inspections and I went back to the seller and I said, listen, it needs a lot of work, a lot more than I expected. And I got the price reduced down to $69,500. Um, and I'm getting a hard money loan at 85% of the purchase price and 100% of repair costs. So the purchase price is $69,500 and I'm going to get... Uh, at close of escrow, they're going to fund 85% of that, which is $59,075. Then they're going to do a holdback of 21,000, which is my rehab funds. So I need 15%, which is 10,425 plus closing costs. I figured another 5,000. So I need $15,425 to close on the property. What I like about these small multifamily deals with some cash flow coming in is that from day one, I'm actually positive $113 a month on my payment. So I don't have to keep on dumping money into the property. And then I have my uh, construction rehab budget already allocated and it's going to be funded on draw. So I do have to front the money to the contractor. And then as the progression of the construction goes, I'll get my draws. Probably I'll do two draws on this with my lender. So what it looks like uh, why I like these small multifamily bird deals. You're listening to the Investor Financing Podcast. We'll be right back after this break. Are you looking for funding? Are you getting frustrated trying to find a lender? Visit InvestorFinancingPodcast.com and click the Get Funding button. Complete the simple form and schedule a free phone consultation with one of our placement specialists. We have a proprietary directory of funding partners that can help you get the funding you need. It's fast and easy to explore the options available for your specific needs. Don't wait. Visit InvestorFinancingPodcast.com and get connected connected is I now just got the appraisal back in and after the renovations the appraiser's value or opinion of value is 125,000 so my loan amount is going to be roughly with 85% of purchase and the rehab is going to be 80,000 I'm coming in with 15,425 roughly so I have a loan of $80,000 and I calculated my taxes, my insurance, my holding costs, and that's about $912 a month during this hard money loan. And I'll bring in um, $1,025. So I am going to net $113 positive cash flow. That's e even including the property management fee. So positive $113 from day one. And now I have a property that's going to be worth $125,000. So I created. Um, 30,000 30, or so in equity. And once the top units rehab, that's going to be another $575 of income. So that would put me at $1,600. So um, this thing will cash flow, subtract out 912. It'll cash flow around uh, 
that's not including reserves and vacancy factors, but just the hard numbers. Um, so we cracked that down. And so this thing will cash flow, let's say $400 net net um, at the end of the day. And I created $30,000 equity. And when I refinance after month uh, three or four, I will get uh, I'll go to 75% of 125,000, which is 93,750. So that means I'll leave $2,000 in roughly um, cash in, but I'll be getting $400. So within, um, let's see here, within six months, I will have no money in the deal, created $30,000 of equity and 400 plus a month in cash flow. I have this uh, broken down, but I call this the Burr multi small multifamily strategy, and I like this the best because um, you're getting immediate cash flow, um, so you're not you you don't have to make payments month after month coming out of your pocket. You utilize the hard money fix a flip loan, and then you uh, after day ninety you roll into a thirty year fixed in the with a portfolio lender based on the debt service coverage ratio of a one point two five, which this clearly has. So these are the type of deals that I, I've kind of created a, a model around now that I'm going after because I think this is the easiest model for me to create wealth. And I just want to share it with you, the listeners. And obviously, if you want help structuring and finding it and um, getting financing for these deals, I'm here to help you grow your uh, net worth and your uh, passive cash flow. And um, the, the beauty of this too, I want to tell you is that I, uh, this was a new area that I was uh, investing in Indiana because I'm typically in South Bend. This is a different city. And the property manager that already manages the property was, I, I read through a couple forums. They were highly recommended by many people. So it's like I, because, you know, the key of out of state investing really is a good property manager. And all the reviews I've read about th- uh, this group has been very good. So it's, you know, it's a good way to expand into a different market. And I happened to stumble onto a, a good property manager and had a good conversation with them. They, uh, they, turned me on to some other good um, markets in that area. So I am now looking at those markets as well. But uh, thanks for listening to this short episode. Just wanted to walk you through a small multifamily burr. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Investor Financing Podcast. For show notes and useful resources, please visit InvestorFinancingPodcast.com. For questions or comments, email info at InvestorFinancingPodcast.com. If you enjoy our show, please share it with your network. Until next time.